guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we're doing a vacation outfit ideas slash out of style. So I'm going to be showing you guys 10 outfits total. So for the first look, we're going to do start out a little more simple. So we're doing this white tank top that is from Joey, J-O-I-E. And then these are my favorite pants for like beach wear, summer wear, spring wear. These are from Dish and they are, I believe, linen. And they just look so good with everything. And I like that they have a belt loop as well. So if you wanted to add a belt. So we have these as the basics. And then for shoes, I'm either going to do uh, my white, I think they're called the Sousa sandal, uh, Manolo's, or white Hermes or Ron sandals. Um, so we keep it all white and then we will accessorize it. So here's the outfit like this. I wouldn't just leave it like this, obviously. Um, and then if I was going on like a yacht or something, there's some sort of boating involved. I, where I'm going to be swimming, jumping off the boat, I would probably get kind of chilly on boats sometimes, like after you're out of the water. I would then also wear this. I just probably wouldn't wear it on the boat, so I would probably have this be kind of tied a little bit. I feel like this looks kind of been overdone, like the tying around your shoulders look has turned into something else on TikTok lately, but I would normally tie it like this. And I'm someone where for beach where I kind of like things to be a little disheveled. So I would leave my hair just kind of a little disheveled, tucked like this. I think this still has the tags on it because I haven't worn this yet. Um, this is from a day's march. Shoes. We're probably going to go with the Hermes or Ron just because these are so dirty because I I want to walk around my house too much with these because they're dirty. I wear, these are my new beach shoes. They were originally shoes I would wear for like dinners and stuff on vacation. They just very quickly turned into beach shoes. So usually I would want a hat if I'm going on a boat and I would wear like just simple earrings like these or from Jenny Bird, just the little hoops. Um, I want a hat because while well, you can go and just like sit in an area that's shady or go like downstairs or whatever, um, I normally am out in the sun because I'm in and out of the water. So I want a hat. So I'd probably wear a hat. I would not have makeup on. I'm not somebody who can do makeup at all from swimming. I do have makeup on for this video, of course. And then it kind of depends on the situation. If it's something where they already have like food, water, all those that stuff, towels on the boats, obviously. So in that case, I would probably just carry something like this. This is from MC2 Saint Barth. Um, so I'll just have it be a little clutch moment. So I'll just have like the room key, lip balm, maybe a little baby sunscreen in it or something. But um, but if I need to bring like a bunch of stuff, this is a very long, this isn't like a sunset, you know, few hour ordeal. This is a very long boat ride. Then I will do a large tote. So then I would do something more like this. This one's from Massimo Duty. So it's a tag on it because I literally just bought this. Um, and this is a very price friendly brand. I think everything that I'm wearing besides the Hermes Aron sandals is very price friendly. And then for sunglasses, I'd probably just go with like little aviators. Uh, these ones are from Tom Ford. So here's this look. Uh, this is kind of a, I love beach wear and that's why a lot of my vacations are tropical weather. I typically travel places that are tropical weather because the outfits are so easy. You just throw something on. It doesn't have to look as put together and it looks cute. I just like love Tropical weather vacation outfits are my favorite, so I really, really love outfits like these. And then if I'm not going to be in the sun, I'm not going on a boat, I would not be wearing the hat. I just have the same sunglasses, and I would not have this on, because usually wherever I am, it is hot. I just, I'm somewhere where I get really cold when I get back on the boat out of the water, so then I would need something like this to put on afterwards. Um, I would probably instead wear these Dior tortoise shawl sunglasses. And so if I'm like going out on town, up to town, walking around, there is no beach, it's ocean element, then I would do this. And I would probably do this little bag if I'm wanting to look a little bit more put together. I think this bag is a little less casual than the others. Then I would probably do either this or I would do this Massimo Duty. It's also from Massimo Duty. I just bought this, so it still has tax no on. So then I'd have all my goodies in this bag, obviously, and so this is how I would style it if I'm just walking around town. Um, and if I'm just walking around town, I'd probably then switch the shoes to be these white Manolos because these ones are a little bit more comfortable when they are Mezzeron sandals. Um, so then I'd probably just switch the shoes, and there's a lot of walking. I would wear these Beha sneakers. Um, so yeah, so it's like a little vacation look. The next look is actually going to be quite similar to this one. I'm keeping the same top, same white tank. And I'm just switching to this linen maxi skirt. This is from Michael Stars. 
I think Michael Starr's is a very reasonable priced brand. Their prices are very affordable, and I love their like linen pieces specifically, and their t-shirts are also good as well. Okay, so the back of this skirt is a little see-through, so I did tie this over just because in the mirror I don't know what we're being sewn here. I don't care so much if I'm on a vacation and there's the ocean and everything, and I would probably be wearing a bikini under this, but it is see-through, so just keep that in mind. Um, not entirely, just a little bit see-through, primarily in the back and in this lighting. Um, so here's how it looks, obviously, without the sweater tie. Um, here's with sweater tie just for the sake of the video. So this is another, like, going to the beach, going boating, going by the pool look. So I'm wearing, again, the Hermes white or wand sandals. So these are my little... I have two beach shoes. The other pair are... I forgot what they're called. They're also from Hermes. They're actually somewhat affordable for Hermes, I suppose, around, like, 300-ish. I do have those I use too, but they're in a teal color, so the white just tends to pair better with everything, and that's how these kind of became my beach shoes. And with this look, I would do the same large tote bag. I just think it looks a big tote with a maxi skirt. For some some reason, it does it for me, so I would personally wear this like this. And I would just find things to make this bag, like, you know, if it looked, I hardly had anything up inside of it, I would, like, add things just so I could carry this tote bag, because I just love a big tote with a maxi skirt or even a maxi dress, but specifically maxi skirts. And then for accessory, I'm just gonna add this little Lele Sadaki hair clip. This is actually a Terry uh, material, Terry cotton uh, material hair clip. So I think this is perfect for like beach. This is again, something I would wear like over, probably like a white bikini or one of the Sony's that is like in the white. Uh, most of my Masoni bikinis are print, but I do have some that are white and they might have some color in it, but it's been really white. It's like the kind of bikini I would wear underneath this. So. Maybe a bikini, like, this is for another look I'm going to do soon. Um, I like this. So I would do something like this, where my hair is just kind of half back, half down. I just let it look a little disheveled because this is beach wear. It doesn't have to look perfect. And then for sunglasses, I would probably do the same to your tortoise ones. I think that tortoise shell sunglasses are really nice for, like, just ocean vibes for some reason. Next, we're doing this Missoni crochet dress. And what I really like about this is that it has a little slip underdress that can be removed. Um, like it come, came with it, but they're two separate pieces. So you can wear just the knit part over a bikini, or you can wear it with the little slip that it comes with as a dress to like go to dinner or whatever. So it has this little slip underneath, and then you can remove that. They're two separate pieces. And then with this, I'm going to, it's another beachwear outfit. I'm going to be wearing this Sony bikini underneath it. So this is this little print bikini. And I'm going to pair it with this Sony crossbody. We're just unintentionally having a whole Sony fit on accident. Um, so then I'm going to probably pair that back with it. Assuming the bikini colors don't throw it off. If they do, then I might pair it with this Hermes Evelyn pink bag instead. So we'll see, we'll play around with the bags after I put the outfit on and see which one looks best. So actually the dress isn't as see-through. I'm not wearing the slip dress underneath and even this without the slip dress underneath, it's not very see-through, so it's actually fine. Um, so I would use this as like my cover-up to the beach obviously and then this bikini and then I would do these sandals. These are like my pool sandals and if they're able to match with an outfit, I will wear them. I haven't worn these in a while. I forgot how cute they are. They almost like make the outfit look a lot more spiced up already. Those actually might tie well with this bag. For sunglasses, I decided to just go with these Versace ones. They're pretty simple. The logo is like gold. So I thought these, maybe they're kind of larger too. So I think it, it's really cute to wear very like large frame sunglasses on the beach. And then I would personally just leave this like this. But if you're someone where you need to wear a hat, then I would probably wear like this visor with it. It just might kind of throw it off a bit. I mean, it looks fine, I just personally would wear it without the visor, but, um, and then maybe like if I am in the sun or something, I might bring like a hat that I just like carry like this or something, I just kind of like the outfit a little bit more without a hat. So that's it for this look, next we're going to be doing this redone black tank top and then these Camila pants, and I believe these are silk, either 100% silk or like 80%, something like that. I love Camila, they have really good swimwear, same with um, Sony. Uh, swimwear and just apparel that I think is very like beach attire, beach-esque. Uh, so I'm gonna do these two together. So here's how this looks on. I love Camila's pieces, they always have like just really pretty patterns. I think they're very suitable for resort wear, beach wear, where you can't really wear too many, too many things, or it's, you know, it's hot weather. 
um, and their prints, their patterns are just very intricate and beautiful. So I just paired it with these simple black Manolo sandals. And then for the bag, I'd probably do something simple. Um, I just got this one from the sack. It does have a crossbody strap inside. This is a very price friendly brand. Um, however, I don't think I'd want to wear it crossbody. So I love this little bag and I just love little crochet or woven bags like this, especially for vacations where you're traveling with a suitcase. These are very compact and you can have like a bunch of different little bags that don't occupy a bunch of space in your suitcase. And most of these aren't designers, so I would put them in my checked bag. The few designer ones I do have here, I would put in my carry-on suitcase, but um, I love all these bags and I think that they're all very compact. And I love this little guy too, it's so cute. It's like the perfect size, because I don't know, for me traveling, I really just need my room key, uh, your lip balm, you know, hair clip, hair band, I don't need a whole lot. So I usually just bring like a little guy like this. And then since the pants are such a statement, I'm going to leave it alone with the rest of the accessories. And then I'm just going to add these Mason Alaya brown sunglasses and it kind of matches the brown in the handbag intentionally as well. So here's this outfit. Next, we're going to do this piece. I love little crochet tops. I love crochet bags for vacation wear, but I also love crochet tops. Everyone was asking where that black one was that I wore in a TikTok, and that one's also from Zara. This one's from Zara. I also have a crochet skirt in this same metallic silver from Zara that's really cute. I just think crochet, it's like see-through, so it's beachy, you're getting some airflow going on, so it's not hot, for me at least. Like, this isn't something that's hot to wear on the beach or whatever. And then I have this white bikini from Vic Swimwear to wear underneath. And I'm going to wear it with the same dish white linen pants. I love these, they go with everything. So I'll be right back after I put this on. So here's how this looks on. I just love like how crochet pieces look. They just look so flowy and fun and it's still see-through so it's breathable, you know, even during hot weather. And I love these linen pants from Dish. I just am obsessed with the crochet. For shoes, I'm going to go ahead and go with the white um, Hermes Oran. So here's with the sandals on. And then for a bag, probably going to go with this white Ferragamo one, just because I think the other ones are colors that don't really go very well with silver. So I'll probably go with this. And then for sunglasses, we're going to either do these white Mason Alaya or these silver Aviator Tom Fords. I think the silver could tie together the crochet top but it might be too much silver. So here's with the aviators on. It could be too much silver. I also just noticed the toe has this little gold on it, so I'd probably wear it inwards, kind of my trick for this. If I feel this doesn't really go with the outfit, I'll just flip it inwards. So here's the aviators. I really like those, actually. It's not too much silver. Let's see if the Alaya ones look better. And then here's the Alaya ones. I feel like the Alaya ones just aren't the right vibe. We definitely need the aviators. And here's this look. This is definitely my favorite one by far, and it's still very comfortable. And for me, it's all about comfort. So if I'm able to kind of elevate a look, make it look even cuter than, you know, just looking super casual, then and I can do it in comfort, then I'm very excited and pleased. So I love this look. So next I'm going to do this set from Figu, Figu, Figu Way. I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand. Um, I received this in PR, so it is this beautiful halter top. I love halter tops. I think they just look so cute on. And then these pants. I'm not sure if these are intended to match. I saw on their website the model has them worn together. So that's how I intend to style these. And then since there is some like white cream, and there's I guess a little bit of black in the pants, but there tends to be more cream, I'll probably stick to one of the white sandals, but maybe the black ones. So here's how this looks on. I love this set. I also love the length of these pants. I usually always have to have pants tailored unless it's like Zara jeans or something. I am very pleased that these fit me perfectly. So I'm 5'8". Um, any pants from this brand, I would recommend for sure if you're the same height as me. Normally they're still too long and I'm even on the taller side for a female. So I love that these, I don't have to have them tailored or anything. And I just think this set is really fun. I kind of like the mix match of the pattern a little bit. Normally I don't, but it looks really nice on the model on their website. So I decided to kind of recreate that. And then I love to tie like my bikinis like this. And it had a really long strap halter to tie. So I decided to just turn it into kind of a choker necklace at the same time. For bag, I'm going to do one of these two, either the gold Mew Mew or the white Ferragamo. 
I kind of like the gold Mew Mew, oddly. I thought I was going to like start combo. I love this look so much. Oh my gosh. Um, this is definitely probably second favorite, maybe even first favorite um, as the last outfit. So I really like this. And because there's so many patterns going on in the top and the bottom, I think I would just leave it alone with jewelry. Just this like simple little pair of hoops. Even sunglasses, I probably wouldn't wear with this outfit, but if I were to wear a pair, so I have these little Dior Tote Porta sunglasses to wear with it. I would probably not wear sunnies, but if I were to wear them, I would wear these ones. So here's this look. Next, we're going to do the same white tank top from earlier with this set from Poupette Saint Barth. Uh, I know it's saying Saint Barth, right? I'm not cons. Poupette, poppet, poopet, poppet. I don't know how to pronounce the first word, but poopet, poppet, P O U P E T T E. I probably would not pass the spelling. Oh my gosh. Poupet Saint Barth. I'm not sure if I'm saying the first word correctly. Um, so this is basically a pair of shorts and then this little kimono. They're super cute. And then I figured just a plain white tank for underneath. And then we'll probably end up doing the white manolos or their meds white or on, and again, for anything that's a lot of walking, in place of the white sandals, I would do the Veja sneakers, so if you're on a vacation that involves cobblestone, a lot of walking, definitely do a pair of sneakers instead. I also really love this one, this is so comfortable, like I feel like I'm in pajamas. I think this might be 100% silk. It's so comfortable and the material feels so nice. I literally feel like I have nothing on, I feel so comfortable. Um, and this looks so cute, and I love the leopard print throughout. Oh, and it has little pockets as well that is so cute and handy. I always need little pockets for tissues because I have really bad allergies. Um, I love this so much and it's so, so, so cozy, but it looks more put together than actual pajamas, obviously. So let's do probably the white Manolos. So here's with the shoes on. And then for bag, I'm going to do, since there's some brown throughout the set, I'm going to do this one, which obviously, yes, if I'm wearing this, I will have the tag removed and the uh, like little tissue paper that's inside there removed. I literally just bought this, so, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's like very casual, but very cute and put together. And I try to keep with the same earrings. I'm not someone who honestly really switches jewelry up a whole lot. I am someone who brings a lot of jewelry occasions, but I always end up just wearing like the same one pair. So it just gets to be, I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm just not a big, oh, let's change the earrings for another gold pair that look very similar. So I'm just gonna leave these in. Um, and then for sunglasses, I would either do the Dior Tortoise or the Brown Mason Alaya. So let's see which one looks better. I already love the Alaya one, so I'm not even going to try on the Dior ones. Oh, I love this so much. Really cute. This is like so fun. It's so cozy. I want this in every color. I'm going to go and look at this website for this brand after this video. So here's this look. I absolutely love this. Next, we're going to do this three-piece set from Hermant and Nandita. I'm not sure how to pronounce. Uh, so it's this three-piece set, these pants, this little top. It's more of like a little crop bralette, and then this top. So I feel like this is very versatile because you could wear the pants alone. If you brought this three-piece set on vacation, you can obviously wear it all together, which is how I'm going to style it for you guys or you could wear the pants alone with a different kind of shirt styled totally differently. I'd probably do like a white t-shirt and then style it totally differently. Or you could do the shirt alone over a bikini, maybe just open over a swimsuit or with like little white linen pants or something or black silk pants, whatever. And then there's the top, which obviously I would probably not wear this by itself, but I think this you can definitely mix and match, and then this goes with it. It doesn't occupy a lot of space in your suitcase either. So let's go try these on. I love this as well. It also feels like pajamas, I believe. This whole set is 100% silk. I am wearing the top underneath, but it is a lot of cleavage that I don't want to show on here. Um, I don't really even like cleavage, like even for off fan or not, I'm not like a big cleavage person. If I had a smaller breast size, I think that this would look a lot classier, but they are out and about. So we're gonna keep them inside the shirt. Um, but I do have the little um, bralette on. Um, I would probably personally style this with like a bikini underneath and then have this be more like a beachwear set. 
and then I would also probably style each piece separately for like a day look of like walking around town. But I love this, and I think for shoes, we're gonna go with these Hermes Aron sandals that are in this really pretty, I would call it salmon pink, but I think the actual name of this color was like rose something, um, rose pink or something like that. Um, I've never worn these because I don't usually go with anything. It's kind of just like a random color, but they go I think, perfectly with this. Oh my gosh, I have an excuse to finally wear these sandals now. They go perfectly with this. And then for a bag, like, yes, this is pink and it matches, but to me, that's just getting too matchy-matchy. Um, I think I would instead do this little guy, this little Mew Mew. I think that's just really cute, just wearing it with the Mew Mew. And I think this makes it also a little dressier. But if I was wanting to be a little more cash um, and I'm going to the beach especially as well, then I would do this uh, little crochet raffia-esque bag from Monday Swimwear. So it's also, I received this in PR, but it is very reasonably priced, I think around $90 to $100 or something. Um, so I'd probably pair it with something like this or possibly the large Massimo Duty toe. I just think with the black in that toe, it's there's no black in the outfit. So I kind of would prefer just like the plain straw. Um, so yeah, I love this. For sunglasses, let's do maybe these aviators. Okay, yeah, I really like the aviators with this. I would probably actually probably do gold tone aviators, but I don't have any with me at the moment. So here's this look. And next, we're going to style. This is something I would wear more so for a nice dinner or on vacation. So you need to be a little more dressed up and it is a little chillier. Um, this dress, this is from Elliot. Um, I did receive this in PR as well. Most of the things in this video I did receive in PR for the apparel, at least anyways, but I like wear everything that I receive um, and I usually am able to pick it out, so I am picking something that I really like. So we have this dress. I know it looks heavy. It is something that can definitely also be worn like fall or winter, but I think it'll be really nice because I usually get really cold at restaurants. Like I'll be on a vacation and I won't think about the fact it's chilly at night, so I might have something to wear on like a boat or something, but it's not something that it's too casual for a dinner. So I think just having something like this to have for like a dinner where you're definitely warm, but it is still a shorter dress, so you still have your legs for a little air is really cute. So let's go put this on. So here's this dress on. I love how this looks so much, and it was just so simple, no styling required. You just threw the dress on, and it has this really beautiful intricate design. You can also snap the last little button. I didn't even realize it had one more until now. For shoe, I am probably going to do the white Anolos. Okay, no, I'm wearing the Hermes Oran. These are, for some reason, the Hermes Oran look a little less casual. So here's what the Hermes Oran, and then for bag, of course, probably one of these two, just whichever matches best. I think this one makes it look a little dressier, but there's like a black lining around the border of the straps that there's no black in the outfit. So actually I think the Mimu Gold. And then normally for dinner I will, that is a time I will switch out earrings to be a dressier pair of earrings to dress up an outfit, but this dress speaks for itself and is so nice in itself that I would probably keep the same simple gold hoops. So here's this look. Last look is also another dress, the last thing is a dress. This is from Rococo Sand, also a really beautiful brand. And it's a very long maxi dress and then it has a halter. And I think this is a very versatile piece in the sense that you could wear this to dinner. So this could be, you know, dressed up or you could wear this to even the beach and dress it down over a bikini or you could wear this just walking around throughout the day. So let's go try this on. I love this dress on, it fits really nicely and it again almost feels like I'm in pajamas, which is crazy. Um, I think it might be 100% silk, and this is again from Rococo Sand. So for this, again, you could dress this up or down, so you could dress it up, you know, if you like heels, I'm just not a heel person, you could do black heels with this for a dinner or something, um, or in my case, I would probably pair it with these rhinestone Hermes Oran to dress it up. So here it is with the rhinestone Hermes Oran sandals, and I feel like this really dresses it up for me because I'm not a heel person, I just can't do them. Um, and then for daytime, if I was going to the beach or something, I would wear these Hermes pool sandals that I wore earlier in this video. And then for daytime, I'll probably just do these black Manolos. I'm going to style it for now as my version of dressier. 
um, which is no heels. I know that like so many girls, like they can't even consider an outfit dress without heels. I just can't walk in them very well. And I'm just like, it's not comfortable for me. We either have the gold Mew Mew, or we'll be definitely, white, definitely white for Gamo. It was like a landslide holding them up. And then I think since there's some gold in here, I just turn this bag around. So here is how I would personally wear this and then no sunglasses because I would personally wear this to dinner. So it would be nighttime and this is the final look. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing another vacation outfits video very soon. So that should be live um, shortly after this one. And I hope you guys have a great week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.